What is up, guys? Happy Tuesday. It is your man, Eric, with East Coast Break Club coming at you. We have a fun video for you today um, with everybody stressing and scrambling to find other grading avenues with PSA and Beckett still outrageous, unless you got a banger card <clears throat> like Mr. Tommy B in the back back there. Um, it will kill you to grade those cards. <clears throat> so uh, we have a reveal from Black Mamba Grading. They have a 2, 8, and 24 day service. Uh, we'll have to say we sent 19 cards. Uh, we did the 24 day turnaround at $35 a card. So um, I'll let you guys be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. If so, um, they were spot on with the with the turnaround time. Um, if you were to do an eight day, it's $55 a card. Uh, two day is $85 a card. In my opinion, we're sneaking up on PSA Express. Um, if you've got something that needs two day, I would uh, probably do that. But, <clears throat> you know, I'm not here to pass judgment. I am here to show the people what we've got. We sent 19 cards again, guys. Let's get started. This is Kira. Lewis Jr. playing with Zion down there in New Orleans. There's a Prism Silver. We got a Mint 9 on that. Only thing I did notice, sorry guys, I'll try not to kill you with the glare there. They've got a little bit of QR or QC issues. There is stuff in a lot of the slabs, guys, just on a quick review taken out of the box I saw um, and speaking of QR they do have a QR code on the back of the slabs here that does not work <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure why you would put that there um, but it is there guys all right so Kira Lewis Jr. Silver Prism Rookie Mint 9 Love this guy out there in the desert. This is Mr. Jalen Smith. We got a nine on him as well. Probably for the centering on this card. Prism is known for that. Mint nine, Jalen Smith. Silver. Here we go. Poku. Red, white, and blue. We mint nine that. A little heavy on the right side. Still a beautiful card though. At nine on Poku. Mr. Jaden McDaniels. I think he's going to have a great year. For the T-Pups. Mint nine there. That is the purple cracked ice. And we've got an Ant-Man. Our first 10 of the submission. This is coming from NBA Hoops. Nice thing, guys. I will praise them. Very, very minimal card play. Um, <clears throat> you guys know with Beckett. And PSA with the thinner card stock on the NBA hoops, they have a tendency to uh, to move around in there like some jingle bells going on. So, kind of happy with that. Jim Mint ten on the Ant Man. And we got a Killian Hayes coming at you. Very very cool green and yellow laser rated rookie. We ten that as well. Super stoked with that. And we got a James Wiseman starting the season off injured, but I have a sneaky feeling he's going to get back in the game in a big way. Rated rookie James Wiseman. This is a cool card right here. This one's numbered 99. Mr. Zeke Najee. We 10 that one. Top to bottom, left to right. The rockers were nice and even, which is, is hard to do on select. You guys have, have seen some funny stuff this year with their centering issues. Zeke Nazi to 99. Guys, all of these will also be for sale. Um, hit us up on all social media platforms. <clears throat> Poku. 10 that as well. Super stoked about that. And again, we got, got some junk in the slabs here, so... A little unfortunate. I don't know if they're slapping in the basement or what. <clears throat> we got a Malachi Flynn, Silver Rookie Emergent. Jim Mint 10. And then we got a Herbie 
This is a legacy rookie. This was out of Chronicles. And again, guys, just... Mm, you hate paying $35 and getting their paper towels in the slab here. That's unfortunate. And again, I'm not here to pass judgment and let you guys do that in the comments. Let me know what you think. Now again, golly, look up there. I missed that. Some stuff up there in the slab as well. Shoo! $35 a card, guys. What do you guys think? Here we go. Mac Jones, out of this world parallel. This is a fun pull out of Don Russ. We were downtown hunting, but this is a great card to pull right here. And that is a Jim Mint 10. It was in pristine condition coming out of the pack. And nothing in the slab on that one, which I am happy to report. Mac Jones out of this world. Follow us on Instagram, whatnot, East Coast Break Club. <clears throat> we have a Facebook group as well. Love to see you guys in there. All is welcome. Have some high quality people in there, which I love to, to hang out with. Here is a Peyton Pritchard. Jim Mint 10. This is a red crack dice. I got a lot of Oregon fans in the group, speaking of. He traded one green for another with the Boston Celtics. We've got a LaMelo Ball rookie. We tend that one. He's in great shape. As long as these uh, NBA hoops are centered, they, uh, they do well at grading. As long as the paint's not chipped up top as well. And here's a guy. Whoop, throwing Cole around. <clears throat> Being a North Carolina guy, you guys know I'm huge on Cole Anthony and anybody that comes out of the Tar Heel State. Red Crack Dice, Cole Anthony, congrats on getting off to a great start this year. Gem Mint 10. Red Crack Dice, Cole Anthony. And we got a Denny. It's out of retail. Blue courtside right there. Nice old rookie to have. We tend that as well. And this guy's balling. Jeez. You see the Offensive Player of the Year so far, Michael Pittman Jr. out there in Indy. And that is a silver select certified. Really pretty card right there. You know, I got some Colts fans watching. Jim Mint 10. This guy I'm huge on just down the way. We got the Braves winning the World Series. Let's go Hawks. DeAndre Hunter. Very, very cool. Red Flash. Parallel on the premium stock. And that is a rookie in a gem mint 10. Let's go. And then this guy would say, hey, hold up. Offensive player of the year so far, Jamar Chase, breaking records down there with Burrow. Sorry about that glare again, guys. Gem mint 10 on the green prism parallel. And that'll wrap it up, guys. I won't keep you long today. Just wanted to give you guys another outlet for grading. Um, again, $35 a card. We spent $665 on 19 cards. We got 15 gems out of it. Uh, no eights and four nines. So that leaves us, uh, what is that? That's roughly 80% gem rate <clears throat> um, on the submission that we do pre-grade. Prior to sending in, I think we're at about a 58% gem rate before PSA shut down. Um, so we do our due diligence up front. Excuse me. And that uh, that pays dividends when you do grade. Um, but what are your thoughts? 19 cards, $35 a pop, $665 total investment. Um, is it worth it? Is it not? Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful week. And we look forward to seeing you soon, guys.